Welcome back everyone for the next part of Adrian Odyssey Untold. In the last part, we defeated the bull after a few difficulties and accepted a quest about the fishing continent. Continent? I mean content. Oh my god, we're already picking arrows. Anyways, uh, we will need to win a tournament because it's related to Marina 2's, which means we need to head first to the 14th floor. So, uh. now here's the question. Am I free to leave the floor if I need to heal? If I don't, this is going to be a big problem because there are very strong fish around. <laughs> the fishing tournament is supposed to be on this floor, right? Hearing Arthur's confusion, a soldier approaches and greets you. And where? Ah, oh, there. Are you the adventurers here for the fishing con uh, continent? Oh my god, tournament! Let me explain the rules to you. We want you to catch as many fish as you can. Three here on the, the 14th floor in eight hours. You can catch more fish. Alright, uh, you catch more fish to rank higher. The guild with the most fish gets an extra prize. Fishing itself is difficult. Just take the fishing rod we provide and search in certain locations. Oh, and as a warning, once you start fishing, if you leave this floor, you'll go to town. Before the time ends, you forfeit. So if you're going to fish, stay here and focus on fishing. Oh, and you've got to catch at least one fish, or else we won't consider your guild has entered. If that happens, you can return to the pub and register the quest again. I know that was a bit long, but that is everything. If you're going to enter, I'll give you the fishing equipment. Sure. Here's a fishing rod. Eight hours. You have eight hours. Good luck. Hmm. Gonna teleport around here, that's for sure. The soldier returns to his near post uh, near the staircase. Oh, There's I'm a ranking? That means people will know if anybody beats them. Alright, that beats us. We've got to be the very best. We're on our way. Well, let's find a place to fish first. Now start searching the 14th floor and catch as many fish as you can. So let's see. Let's see. There's one spot on the floor that I didn't check just yet. But before we huh? go over there, I'm gonna be so free to go right over here. How's this? Hey Ray, how about here? Yes. All right. Let's catch a big one. You bait the hook and cast the line. After a while, you feel a tug on the line. Amazing! Oh, a nice one! You successfully caught a fish. The night cup. All right. Well, that would be one. At least we can fail the quest at this point. Let's continue to search for more fish. You can continue looking for different places to fish if you like. Well, I can already see another spot right over there. Huh? Let me grab How's that this? one as, as well. All right. Let's catch a big one. You bait the hook on it, uh, and cast the line. After a while, you feel a tug on the line. Amazing! Oh, nice! You successfully caught a fish. The oil eel. So we already cleared out the bottom left side. Can I teleport? Are you going to say something? No. Okay. If that is the case. I think I saw something mm -hmm. here. How's this? But I'm not really sure if there's a fishing oh, spot. Right. I didn't I didn't really have an indicator for that here. Stand back. No! Nope. That was a fake one. It's a monster. Okay, so I can also cast, or rather, I can also reel in fake fish. That is good to know. Good God. Lay here because there are a lot of them. Uh, I can use the flame ball right in the center. And of course, the illusion in order to weaken the defenses. Now! How about this? Okay, got rid of one of them. If I use. That should be able to be faster. 
Then I can use front guards, defense, spark away. And if that isn't enough, spark away again. Never mind, fast enough. Okay, we need to watch out for that. Simon, I'm really sorry, but you do need to Does heal one more time. Just to be sure, I don't really, don't really want to die by accident, just because uh, I didn't heal that one time. So what about here? Hey, this place. Watch yourselves. There is a chance there might be How's something this? here. All oh, right. Didn't check Amazing. this after all. And yes, yes, there was one. Okay. Just going to mark this down in case I fail. <laughs> you successfully caught a fish. The flower salmon. Mm -hmm. All right, then it's three. <laughs> this is pretty fun. Shall we keep going? You've caught three fishes, though far from championship material, this may be enough to place. You can be satisfied with your result, or you can continue fishing to earn a higher place in the ranking. Well, if we are already around, there is no point skipping out of it. Wait a second. Uh, the flower is right over here. Which means... It leads back over there. And that in regard means this floor should look something like this. Okay, the next fishing point would be uh, the best way to reach that would be I didn't get that teleporter. Oh my freaking god! Okay, wait. Staircase. Staircase. I go to the top. Yeah, I need to go to the top. And that way I should be able to reach the other fishes easier. Hopefully. Yeah, I should be able to reach the other fishes that way easier. It's a monster. And maybe Don't not run into any kinds of crap! <laughs> oh god, okay. Yeah, bloody awful for the back. Another defender. He's pretty much not going to do anything special this time around. Which means... I can spark away. Twice! Onward. Maybe, just maybe, this is going to be enough to finish it off in the next turn. Yep, looks like it. Front guards. Standing for the left guy. Eyes for the back. Spark away. A perfectly executed. Perfect. Didn't even get hit. Couldn't get better than that, right? Soon. Si. Okay, if I go through here. There wasn't anything to the right side, which means I need to go to the out. Then I can reach hmm? this fish. How's this? All right. Which is fish number four. Amazing. And that is a forest arowana. Great. So if I follow that line, the next point that I can grab would be right over here. Should still have time. Careful, everyone. And now that we are back at the beginning area, get ready. I think it's weak to fire. Yes, the encounter no should mistake. technically be easier. Is what I wanted to say. But after seeing this, can't really tell that. Huh? <laughs> okay, first of all, stun analysis. I'm trying to go for the head Come now. Didn't get the head, but in fact, I got the stun again. Spear assist, front guard, hit, boost the weakness again, fire, perfect, fire I'll onto this, and don't okay. Come back. So let's see, how high are the chances that there's going to be another Can fish near the alligators? Shouldn't be, right? Anyways, All right. first we're going to get the next fish. Amazing! 
amazing! The star coil. All right. Five. Five fishes. I think we might be the only one to catch this many. It doesn't seem that many other guilds could have caught as many as you have. There may be some skilled anglers among the ranks of the other guilds, though. If you want to defeat the veterans, there's still time to continue fishing. Well, yeah, there is. But first and foremost, I need to go back into the center. And in order to do that, I first need to go through this the flower patch. Oh, hello, fishies! Good to see you again! I hope you don't mind if I just run away. So let's see. If I go through here, we can go through another one. Hey, Head please. further to the right. Stick Careful to the wall so the alligator doesn't see us. How's this? Okay, right. that should be fish number six. Amazing! The red loach. Here it comes. So and then. It's ripe for the calling. We only need one more from the looks of it. At the very least, I don't really have any more markers after that. So let's make the most out of this. And the last one. Alright. Let's catch a big one. After a while, you feel attack on the line. Amazing! Oh nice one! You have successfully caught a fish. The tiger are you? I didn't get the indicator. Maybe I do miss something. <laughs> yeah. Where could it be? <laughs> the alligator's approaching as well! <laughs> oh, shoot! Okay. Oh god. Uh Stun needle for the for the crab. Spark. Spark? There's a high wow, chance he's going to kill somebody. Or maybe not. Okay, didn't expect that. Oh god. Defend. Spark. Heal. Okay, I take that. I, I'm i totally going to take that. Hmm. Water tile, land. I can't tell. I can't tell if there's still one missing. Stand back. Nah. Here it comes. Was to be expected. Are you ready? But hey, it's only swordfishes, right? It's only swordfishes. It's totally fine. Bloody offer for the back again. We're going to use the fender this time around. The fence. Uh, fire. And I'm going to delusion all of them. Gotcha. Okay, that works. I'm going to swap into the center. Front guard. I'm going to breathe. The fence. Fire. And I'll snipe for the guy in the back. Okay. Gonna swap. Slash this guy, front guard and the rest. Play him towards the right guy and shoot the left guy again. Just to play it safe. There we go. So, that didn't really work out as planned. Yeah, I guess my best bet. But then again, then again, there's also the possibility of this spot. But I did walk through here once in order to mark out this flower, so in that regard, why not? Maybe my best bet after all is right over there. 
amazing. Oh, okay, okay, wait a second, wait a second. I was actually about to reach the right corner, but I found another slot right over here. You have successfully caught a fish. The climbing fish. But it's still not enough. Oh my god, how many fishes do I need to find around here? The time is seriously running out though. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's getting closer. Actually, now that I think about it. Did I grab this fish? I remember we are here. But I think once I was here, I went straight to the left side. So, no, I didn't grab this one. Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god, I need to go there. But how? How do I do that safely? <laughs> uh, hmm. That's going to be interesting. I need to avoid pretty much all conflicts. And not die. Oh god, the encounter rate though. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine, it's gonna be fine. Oh, it's, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Let's see. Bloody awful. Front guard. Lay heal. Spark. Delusion. Onward. Oh, they hurt so much. Not dodge. <laughs> they hurt so much. It's incredible. It's literally incredible. Front guard. Defend. Spark. Ice round for the guy in the, the big. Of life. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Okay. Okay. Challenge. It's just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Huh? And the time is up. <laughs> I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Let's return to town to find out how we did. <laughs> Can't wait to see how many people we did uh, better than. Oh, Arthur, I don't know. I don't think that was actually enough, though. I don't think that was enough. I think we are actually missing one fish. But oh well. Let's go back. All right, is everyone here? I will now read the name of the winners of the fishing tournament. Number three, the Atrian Knights. Number two, oh my god, Vesperia. Number one, Rangers of uh, Sanctity. Who the heck is Rangers of Sanctity? And actually, if I had that floor jump, I could have reached that point. I could have learned, I could have totally reached that point. Those are the top guilds ranked in the competition. Thanks to everyone who participated. You can collect your rewards at the pub. The fishing tournament is now over. Oh, Aww. Seriously? So close. Arthur. Shut up, Arthur. Well then, let's go. We need to collect our rewards. Off to the pub. Yeah, it was kind of close if I just didn't hey mess there. up our foot. I was stuck into them for the other two that I didn't even mark. But the time limits. <laughs> I mean, the uh, general mighty people's already job? running out, so uh, oh no hey, well. thanks. Might not be the best reward, but we still get a lot of readers, right? Welcome back, everyone. You did it. I can't believe you got the second place. <laughs> Maybe you well? should quit the adventuring business and start a fishing company full time, huh? I'm just kidding. Anyways, I collected your catch and fishing equipment. Here's your reward. Congratulations. See? Free arena tools! Still worth it! But I guess I would have got a little bit more XP and more on readers if I, if I got first. <sighs> oh well. Sorry, kiddo. Okay, that was pretty much all the quests the above dog. the Fort Stratum. Unless, of course, spend the treasure, but we're still not going to touch that one. And if that is the now, case, I I'm would say. We're going to heal up really quickly. Welcome to the very then allow me and to then head over room. to the fourth stratum. See you there. Huh. But that's counterproductive. I just noticed after dying that I 
didn't unpause the recording software, which means you guys, <laughs> you guys didn't even see how I died miserably because of a rude guy in the backline with panic scream <laughs> next to golden deers. <laughs> oh god! But hey, at the very least, you guys didn't really miss a lot. I mean, the the only thing that I did was uh, mapping out the beginning room. Noticed that there are like six doors in one room, and of course that there are conveyor belts, which uh, only leads to the north. Oh, also, also, right over there, there was a FOE that turns out to be a tree. <laughs> so yeah, except with that, you guys didn't really miss anything, right? I didn't mess up that badly. <laughs> I mean, I still messed up, but it's not that badly. Anyways, since I already went that way first, I'm going to walk there again. It's the only right thing for me to do. What was that? Startled by the uneasy sensation of the ground shifting beneath your feet, you turn to check the ground behind you, which is the conveyor belt. Very nice. Then sand is flowing with tremendous force. It must have carried us away. Phew. I don't think I can walk against that stuff. You have no way of knowing where you may find yourself once you step into the flowing sand. You proceed on, resolved to be more cautious about what is below your feet. So yeah, once we step into the conveyor belt, we can't really go back at all. We cannot go back at all. Also, in this region, there are flame reds. Already had to fight a few flame reds. Didn't really have any luck with the drops. But I did, in fact, notice one line about testing poison. Now, I didn't really have any luck with the poison sting so far. Or at the very least, I didn't really have any luck with it actually getting the poison but we'll see we're still going to try to get it so let's see simon you get it that's the last one okay now there is a chance i might need to wait for it to die via poison which in turn means he's just going to guard everyone would that it were always like this doesn't really seem to work though I mean, it is related to the <laughs> poison. The description the usually never lies. But I cannot tell if that is going to be the right condition for the conditional drop or if I need to do something else for it. Anyways, mm -hmm. Simon would be so kind to heal yourself up. Great. Now about the FOE of this so, area. What should we do? As you walk into the withered forest, you suddenly sense a terrifying threat in the air. You look around, but see no danger here, just as you direct a perplexed look at the rest of your party. You see a giant tree. What the? Unbelievable as it seems, a large tree begins to ritter and show hostility towards the group. Unfortunately, or rather fortunately, the tree has just noticed your presence and is, and is not quick enough to capitalize on the confusion. You must consider whether it is best to use this window of opportunity to escape, or whether you will take up arms. And I can already say, freaking way, I'm not gonna what fight the? that thing. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna fight the FOE. I mean, the last turtle was red, but it wasn't the third straddle. That guy's in a completely different league, right? Damn it! And I thought it was just a regular tree. What was that thing? The monster seems to mimic itself as a tree, so that it could attack unwarried passers-by. This may be a problem. Not like in the yeah, the path to the floor on these floors are pretty narrow. One of these things could plant itself right in our way. Um. It seems like that monster couldn't walk though, and it didn't notice us until we were right next to it. As long as we keep, a, keep that in mind, maybe we can slip past. Just bear in mind that you must proceed with cautious as you walk on your way. True, true. Now here's the thing. <clears throat> they do say the tree cannot walk. But if you were to step here or there, right next to the tree, then magically it is able to walk at least one slot in order to reach you. That is something that I already had to witness before, so I'm not going to make that mistake. It's just going to get out of here. 
So, now about that one spot where I actually died. Was a little bit complaining about the fact that there's a chopping point around here. And then I died because of it. So we're not going to touch that chopping point. I mean, we don't really need it anyways. Our quest actually relies on mining spots after all. So in that regard, we can just go forward and completely ignore the fa oh my God. <laughs> the fact that I literally died, right? Yeah, we can totally, totally ignore that. So where was I? That moves to not. And we're going to follow this line. Which suddenly goes back to the south, okay. At the very least we make some progress around here. Even though it seems like pretty much every way leads outside of the center. From the looks of it. Seems to be two tiles going to the left side. And there's an opening to the south. Yeah. Okay. It's vulnerable to ice. That is probably yeah, yeah. also going further to the south because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. And those guys could be a little bit annoying. Oh god. Poison to the right. Eyes to the left. Head snipe to the center. Onward. Here goes. <laughs> okay. That works for me. Protect. Mm, delay here. Defend. Defend. I'll protect you all. Fine. <laughs> fine. Show's See? Over. Totally fine. Didn't get the item either. Okay, either it is very rare. I'm just mm -hmm. super unlucky. There's a chance I might be just super unlucky, so I'm just going to attempt it again the second I see the next uh, bunch of reds. Wait, it's an icon. Going further to the left side. There seems to be an opening though. Okay. This is just one giant circle leading back to the beginning. From the looks of it, well, it's not really a circle, it's a square, but from the looks Careful of it, everyone. I would almost say that it seems to be the case. Two tiles going to the left side. One, two. That tree was alright. <laughs> then we have another oh, yellow tile. Seriously? Oh my god, there's a boar. <laughs> okay, problem. Plant gets ready. Plant is super fast. I could die. <laughs> I could literally die from this now. <laughs> My boost isn't ready either. Huh. Oh god. Are you here? Would be nice. Can't really kill it though. And Vicky isn't that fast. Oh, right. she, oh my god, they killed it. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Would be nice if I could just instantly kill it, though. Stun. Uh, boars. Boars. Weakness of boars usually is... Ice, maybe? I mean, so far everything around here had ice weakness, except of the plant. I'm gonna go for the head, though. Sorry. And I instantly killed it. Great. <laughs> Great. That helps out a lot. Ooh, that's a new one. So that goes further to the south. And yeah, from the looks of it, this just leads back. Wait, isn't that supposed to be a shortcut? I can. It's supposed to be, but I can't really do anything with it. Okay, that's a bit weird. At the very least, we have another icon. Further to the right. So, yeah, that pretty much circles in the whole square. Let's hit it with ice. Really? Which in turn means there's a high chance the staircase might be in the center of the square, right? Which means I need to figure out a way to get into the center without 
getting too far to, to outside of the square itself. Which in turn means this is pretty much a try and error run until I'm lucky enough to get the right one, huh? Pretty much. Poison Sting. Ice. Defense. Onward. This will leave a permanent mark. Didn't get it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> show is over. Hmm. My levels. I don't know. Maybe maybe the descriptions actually line to me. Maybe I don't need to poison them. Huh. Hmm? Weird. Anyways. Uh we started off with the right door. So we're going to stick with that and Careful, just go everyone. with the with the fifth door next. Which in turn only leads me towards the right side, which uh, already looks bad. An enemy. Fools. Yeah, there's a chance this might just lead me back into the circle. Which is a bad thing. But hey, at the very least, I'm able to show you guys the golden deer. Remember that guy? The foe in four? It actually gave me some trouble because it was super fast and didn't leave me alone no matter how how sneaky I was in that area. Yeah, he is back. And he also has a conditional, but I'm not really sure how to get it. Oh wait, not. Only he has a conditional. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. I'm going to kill that guy really quickly. Uh, I'm not really sure about the weakness though, so we need to figure that out. Come on, poison! I'm gonna spark just because I can. And go for the legs. Right oh my god, I killed it. Never mind. <laughs> Show's over. I didn't get any drops though. <laughs> so it doesn't really make a difference. Ooh, I mean the chances one. of me actually getting that oh my god. Yeah, that's that literally leads me back to the shine circle. That doesn't really help me out. Should I just use some thread? I think I'm just going to use a thread. Yeah, why not? I mean, I do have a few of them. And in general, hey there. that also gives me the again, ability to change up my material really quickly everyone. because I use 90 I peoples. And I have the feeling, with yes, all those strong once, enemies around here, I would else? prefer I to have HP. Turn. So, okay. Back to the labyrinth. Should probably I see. Heal. I mean, it, I didn't really get that hurt, but still. Welcome very then. So, okay, where was I? Alright. All the way to the right leads to a giant circle. The second of the right leads back to the giant circle. How about the door right next to it? Pushes me towards the giant tree. That's nice. At the very least, I can already tell that's not going to be an FOE. So, that is going to push me towards the right side. And I can see there's a treasure right over there. Which can only be reached from the north side. That is actually... Two arrows going towards the right side. And the only way forward is through here. Okay, so far so good. I didn't get pushed back to the... Oh shoot. Maybe I am going to get pushed back to the right side again. Are you kidding me? I think the game is trying to kick me around here. Like... I, I just have the feeling, you know, that's that is the third conveyor belt that is literally Stand back. getting me back Fire should work into well. the giant circle. <laughs> Maybe I should start with the left, left side, huh? That that sounds more reasonable. Are they awful? Well, they aren't going to attack, that's for sure. Fire through. It's not. Onward. Better not dodge. Okay. Worked just fine. I'll check it later. 
I even got a ST. Ooh, that's <laughs> good. One for the book. No, but seriously, that doesn't really help me out that well. Because it just leads back once again. Okay, if that is the case. I guess I'm going to use another thread. And we're going to start with the left side next, huh? Sounds better, right? Totally. So, okay. Now this time around, we're going to start with the left side because... It appeared to be better. But after seeing this, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it already pushed me towards the left side, which isn't really a good sign. So in that regard, let's see what we can do around here. It's clear if I go further to the north, I'm pretty much stuck, so let's not do that. And actually, I'm stuck either way. Great. Well, at the very least, this time around is actually not Watch such yourself. a big walk, so uh... I guess I can take Stand that. Now there are only two possible doors that could actually lead us deeper into the strand. Right? Because all the other ones are just leading us in a giant circle and nothing else. So first of all, bloody awful. Front guard. I'm gonna try to poison that guy again. Wait. On target. You're gonna kill this guy and I'm going to shoot a dead guy. Onward. Okay, soon enough. I'm gonna kill this guy. Protect, 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 and protect. Great! Still didn't get a conditional though. And I'm not really sure. <laughs> I mean, at this point it can't be because of my my luck, right? It can't be. I mean, there's no way I can be that unlucky, right? So first it goes to the left, then it goes upwards. It's still possible for me to go further to the left side if I want to. Which means this is pretty much connected like that. And actually, it looks something like this. Because that is a true tree. So, next up we have the conveyor belt going to the right, further to the right, downwards, which means it looks something like that, I would say. Okay, I can't really tell if that's an FOE or it's just a, a roadblock, so I'm going to leave it at that. But for a matter of fact, there is a way further to the yeah. right. Let's begin. So I'm going to keep that in mind. Do you have any type of special weakness? Mm, not quite. And if that's the case, I guess I'm just going to boost up Arthur again. Uh, maybe if, if I'm just poisoning it. Maybe. Just maybe I'm going to see a difference. It's not very likely, but maybe. <laughs> I mean, the description says it's poison, right? Let's get this over the description with. did in fact say it is poison. So in that regard, it should technically speaking be poison, right? So if that is the case, that should actually help me out. I'm getting stronger. But I, I'm Wonder just not getting it, good. though. I'm just, I just Let's record get this it. For posterity. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Okay, what stop again. Heal yourself up. So that leads towards the left side. Three tiles. So no matter what happens, doesn't really seem like this way is going to lead far. I'm just going to check out where this is actually going to lead us. Because from the look of it... I would say... <laughs> it, it could 
But then again, we are pretty far to the left side of this map. There is a high chance it might just lead us back to the to the outskirts. But if there's even the slightest chance that it actually leads us back to the right side, I should at least give it a chance, right? Okay. So let's see. This leads to the left. Probably don't want to go to the left side. There's a way further to the right, there's a way further to the north. It spotted us. And that is actually an FOE. Which means if I were to go to the north, I would be forced to go further to the north. Now that we went to the right side, I can't go further to the north either because the FOE is going to attack me. Which means I can only go to the right side. And that means we can go further to the south. And maybe take that corner. Which has absolutely nothing. Great! This is kind of confusing. So this is just uh, another route in order to lead me back. Looks like it. I already know that this FOE is a fake. That means I can pretty much freely move over here. Then there's another way going further to the right side. Conveyor belt going to the right. Up. Wait. No. Up. Right. But I can't really tell how far that is going to go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of forced to take that one. Great. Now from here, I can go further to the right side if I want to. But do I want to? That's the question. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of space towards the right side, so technically speaking I'm kind of tempted to go there. But there's also the possibility of going north. Which leads north two tiles. But that, on the other hand, looks like it could lead me to the wrong side. But I'm still going to take the chance. Especially since it seems like there wasn't really a way further to the right side, but in fact, there is an event. As you walk through the forest, you think you hear someone's voice. You stop and look around, but there's no one in sight. Hey Ray, what is wrong? Come on, let's keep going. As you start walking again, you notice some straps of clothes and the broken equipment scattered about in the grass. They belong to someone. Do you think whoever it is is still alive? Oh, look at this. A torn, seven-colored bandana. The distinct headgear of a missing rainbow warrior. Well, that's a shame. You carefully tuck the bandana into your bag and make a note to return to the pub to report your findings. But wait, I thought I thought you just said you heard something. Maybe, maybe he's still alive and just lost his headgear, right? Maybe. Anyways, I'm gonna write down rainbow right over here. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to check the rest of this area first before reporting back to Mandana. Because he, he in fact heard something, right? Shall we slay it? He in fact <laughs> heard something. We can't just ignore the fact that he literally heard him. <laughs> he has to be around here somewhere, right? Hmm. The Grim Lay off over the back. There. One shot. Stun the right guy. No weakness, that's too bad. Gonna go for the head snuggle. Onward. Especially Onward. since they're kind of strong! Okay. Spear assist. I've got. Delay heal. Fire. Head snuggle. Got the head. And it died. Great! 
new powers. I'll check it later. And four grand walls, even better. So mm -hmm. Simon, would you be so kind to heal everyone up again? There oh, we go. That a lot. So that screams like an FOE. And the other way is going to lead back to the left side. Now I'm not really sure if I should go further to the north or maybe. But then again. What can I do on the left side? I mean, in general, I'm going to check out either side anyways. So I guess I can check out that one first. Which in fact brings me three tiles to the left side. Which means this is connected like that. There was an opening right over here. With the opening going to that side. And I was pretty much allowed to reach this point from both sides of the south area, which means this here can only be reached through this conveyor belt. And in that regard, I should probably check out this side first. Which only leads to a treasure chest, but I am going to take that. So let's see. With another one of those blockades, but I already know that uh, that can't be an FOE because I already like, pass, uh, pass through it. And that pretty much leads me back to the circle. The tiles at the very least, and is connected like that. Okay. Now there's still a possibility of going north from here. Going further to the right from here. Checking out the left side from there. And we didn't even touch this door yet. So I would say this is a good point to make a little cut. In the next part we're going to check out the last door of this area. And see where the other conveyor belts are actually going to lead us. And maybe, just maybe, we can still find that person. I mean we did find his headgear and his equipment. But there's always the possibility that he just got away. You know, sometimes if you're on the run, you discard your stuff in order to get lighter, so that you can increase your speed. Maybe he did something like that. But then again, I don't think the bandanas could to increase the speed that much. I mean, it's very light. There's no reason. But then again, who knows? Maybe maybe he got, he got a sc scrapped or, or a trapped uh, in the tree branch and then it got stuck and... He kind of had to discard it. <laughs> Anyways, more to that in the next part. I hope you guys had fun, and see you tomorrow. Until then, bye bye!